Uh, Assalamualaikum and welcome to the demo of flat for report and for the task 2 this is the topology and configuration of the PC and the keluarga so as we can see the PC1 is with the IP of 10 PC2 with 80 and PC3 with 180 so first of all this is the command of the keluarga so we are setting the th0 with the gateway address, th4 with the gateway address, th2 with the gateway address, and then we use the command of router OSPF to set the dynamic routing, and then we write the, the command. After that, we use the show running config, and then we show the IP root, we show the IP OSPF root and then lastly we show the IP OSPF database and then we ping uh, from PC1 to PC2 and then PC3 and then we trace the root and then we do the ping from PC2 to the PC1 and PC3 it's all successful and then we do the trace root and lastly we do ping from PC3 to the PC1 and 2 and then we also done the test route. Moving on to the test tree, we have three router, three quagga, and this is the the setup, the configuration. So first of all, as like the test two, we need to do the quagga command. We set up the ATS zero one and two based on the gateway address, and then we do the Router, SP, uh, router OSPF and then we write the configuration and then we do the show running config after show running config we done the show IP root after that we do the show IP OSPF root and lastly we do the show IP OSPF database After that, we done the same with the uh, quagga number two. We do the uh, root OSPF, write the command, write the dynamic routing, and then show running config. And then we do the show IP root, show IP OSPF root, and then we do the show IP OSPF database. And lastly, we do in quagga three. We uh, write the dynamic routing router OSPF and then show running config and then we do the show IP root show IP OSPF root and then and then now uh, show IP OSPF okay. and now we try to ping from PC1 to PC2 and 3 so we set up the PC1 with the IP of 10 and we successfully ping from PC1 to 2 and then PC1 to PC3 and then we done the trace root and it is successful and then we do the ping from PC2 to PC1 and 3 the PC2 has IP of 80 we ping to PC2 and PC3 and then we PC1 and PC3 and then we done the trace root and it's all successful and then from PC3 to PC1 and 2 and test root and then another task 4 is we disconnect the connection between Quagga 1 and Quagga 3 so basically we all do the same except that in ATS2 we did the shutdown command so there is no connection in the ATS2 of the Quagga, uh, Quagga 1 Basically, we done the same. Show any config. And the router SPF only have two because we only have two connection. And then show IP root. Uh, show IP SPF. And then show the database. For the Quagga 2, uh, it's all the same because all the connection uh, still there. So we done the gateway address, OSPF, write the command, and then we think, show any config, and then 
show IP root, show IP OSPF, and show IP of SPF database. And from the Quagga 3, uh, almost similar to Quagga 1, we only do the ETH 0 and then ETH 1. However, the ETH 2 we shut down because we have no connection to the Quagga 1. So, further we did the same thing like write sharing config, put SPF only to connection. Sharp root, blah 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 blah, SPF root, SPF database. And then we try to ping from PC1 to PC2 and 3. All done successfully. For the trace root, the difference between the task for before, uh, when PC1 tried to trace PC2, it's all 3 hops. However, for the PC3, they are 4 hops because uh, there's no connection, so it needs for hopping to PC3. For PC2, uh, we ping PC1 and 2, uh, PC1 and 3, and it's all the same successfully. For PC3, we try to ping PC1 and 2. For the PC1, it has for hops for the trace route because there is no direct connection from PC3 to PC1. And then, uh, for the PC3 to 2, it's the same three hops. That's all for the demo. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum.